But yeah, I just wanted to talk about some recent game news on some that I feel like I would be very, uh, very, very interested in because the majority of my views come from my old day live series that I made uh, non-stop, I mean daily videos, but I have some good news. Uh, I did finish that series so, uh, in that time span, but new day live game is coming out, it's not really new in terms of relevancy, but it's new for us. Uh, so, the game that it's called is uh, Data Live Rin Dystopia, and uh, Rin is uh, a new original character that they have, and it's set to announce this year, uh, it's currently we don't have a planned release date, it just says it's to be announced, and the trailer came out four weeks ago, so, uh, so far we have that, uh, it's based on the popular light novels, you know, and the TV show, obviously, um, granted this only takes place after season three, so, don't expect like Miracle or Nia to be in there anywhere. Uh, so basically, it's the whole classic story. The story of Dead Alive begins 30 years after Earth has been plagued by spiritual quakes, and the calamities are triggered by emergence of enigmatic entities known as spirits. So now it's. If you remember the events of the last game, uh, that I did do it, uh, that I did play on the channel, sorry, I am this is English right now. The premise of it was you had Ren. Not Ren, Reen, who was the basically a time loop type character. So she would get you stuck in a loop where you had to get everyone's events over and over again until finally you realize you're in a loop and then you break out and she dies. Dies. And then you do R to install where you make the R to sisters. By that, it's really just like all awesome those type shit. So yeah, that happens. It's not, it's, a, it's some side quest shit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, DM makes them for some reason. And then you go into the final one, which is Rio Reincarnation, where you get Rio, the product, of, the product of you and Green for some reason, it makes no sense. And uh, yeah, and you all live happily ever after. You choose one of them, and uh, that's your path to go on. So basically, isn't too much story wise. Uh, I know they're not going to be in this game specifically. So. The story of this game is a newly emergent spirit named Natsumi ends up in the crosshairs. Y'all know Natsumi, yeah. Of a Deus Ex Machina in the industry. So it's just D D E M. Y'all know D E M, you know. Uh, Westcott, all them. Shido defends Natsumi from D E M industry and manages to steal her powers and all that stuff. So following that, you know, you have the whole origami situation where they go back in time. My man uh, saves her back in time again or sorry goes forward in time after that shortly and then you know you have inverse origami and then um just regular origami and then she becomes spirit type shit and he seals her he reshapes the world and eventually seals origami and enemies still lurk about and her friends or his friends and the they have to savor the peace they've secured throughout the ordeals and uh yeah basically here's a mysterious voice calling to him and it's actually Rin. Uh, not Rin, Ren, the new character I'm talking about. And upon waking up in the morning, he discovers a peculiar container adorned with a snake pattern under his pillow. Thinking it might be a prank, Shido asks around for the container's owner, but then... Then they try to open it. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's basically it so far. And, uh, yeah, so basically everything that's in the last game pretty much just carries over. You have the choice system. You have a specific pathway you can choose with certain characters. That's going to be really fun. Um, all the environments are pretty much the same. So the only upgrades I can really say are for the entire game, you have Toka, Yoshino, Koturi, Kurami, the Kage, uh, Kaguya in uh, Yuzuru, Miku, Natsumi, and uh, Origami in her spirit form. So you don't have to worry about her and her old... Uh, old outfit so now it's a lot more it's a lot cooler and i can definitely tell by the cg so far because if you thought the cgs from uh the first game were explicit you're not gonna like these <laughs> these are a lot these are these are different these are different now uh this it does have a mature content description as well so you can probably uh, understand why most of the outfits that they're gonna wear is gonna be a little bit revealing so it shouldn't be too bad but yeah other than that uh, i just thought i should tell y'all about that considering uh day to life 5 is right around the corner you already know bro so hyped for that uh i'm caught up on the light novels actually i have all the japanese ones just hanging up and i have a bunch of figures and stuff like that so 
currently. I'm, I'm super hyped for this. I'm hoping that it comes soon in the earlier half of the year. It is a single player and it does have achievements. I'm going to be playing this on Steam. Uh, that's actually the best way you can get it right now, at least. I know you can go buy a Japanese copy, uh, like on eBay or something like that. Of course, it will be a little bit expensive. It will be pricey, but I mean, I don't recommend it. I'll just wait for the drop, considering it's still this year. Unless you're impatient. And uh, yeah, um, I will try to put the trailer on there as well, because I'm really excited for this. And there's been, uh, there's been promising anime things this year. I'm not going to lie. It's been very promising for the anime this year. And uh, yeah. The uh, developers are Idea Factory, Compile Heart, Sting, uh, Aldi Factory, uh, Idea Factory International, and uh, it's a visual novel. I just want to put that out there because a lot of people think I'm talking about an RPG or something like that. No, it is a visual novel. That's the most important thing about this. Okay, uh, it's a casual. It's cute and it's story based. You have your own choices. I've already said that before. Uh, if you want a reference point, go check out my old day live videos. Uh, it'll be just like that. Um, I highly recommend. My favorite routes are the origami route on um, on Rain Utopia, origami route, and the Kurumi route. For Arasu install, the Kurumi route's cool, but I also I really prefer the um, the Miku Miku ones. The Miku ones are so amazing. I think that might be my favorite route in that entire section of the game. And then uh, for Rio Reincarnation, I just went with Rain all the way. Uh, I like Marinas a lot in there too. I, I really mess with it. So yeah, good vibe out with that one. But uh, yeah, just thought I should let y'all know about that. Saying there will be a lot of content. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all are excited for the new Data Live game. And I'll let y'all know more news about it. Normally, I was going to put this in Beater's Corner, but I was like, usually that's more SAO stuff. But after uh, I wrap up Season 1, I do want to vary out from that SAO thing. Just like games in general that I'm interested in. Such as Stellar Blade, Persona, stuff like that. You know, you feel me? So, we're going to crack down on that pretty soon. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, Kimara Ken. I'll catch y'all later. This is going to look kind of tough. Hold on. What the heck was Okay, a box. Okay, okay, so basically everyone from up. Oh, whoa, not to me. Whoa, okay. The environments looked around the same as well. So, huh. I'm glad that hasn't changed. Although, I hope we do have a little bit more variety in the locations. Okay, coterie. Ooh, is that? I'm guessing that's Ren. Yeah, that's probably Ren. Oh, everyone's her puppet. Okay, so that's definitely gonna have a factor in it somehow. Yeah, most definitely. That's gonna have a big factor. My girl, that's my that's my girl right there. But I always go with origami. She's just like that for me, bro. I always go with origami. My girl Toga right there. Yes, sir. Putting in work. Origami. Both origamis. Yes, sir. Oh, the Yoshino armor. Oh, that's so sick. I'm glad they. Wait. So, that means that the Mayuri movie is also canon in this. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We're in. I'm guessing this is like a Pandora's box type situation. Awesome. I'm really hyped. Can't wait.